Hey, 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 welcome back. Today we're looking at a brand new multifunctional network cable tester. It's actually two testers. One is NCV related, one is for cable testing. Hey, these are test instruments. It's not a multimeter, but they're still darn cool in the cheapest spotlight. As always, big keep on testing shout out to Banggood. Thanks so much for sending the cable testers in for this review. Oh, that guy, he's always so happy. Multifunctional cable testing uh, with a facelift. Not your typical average Alborian cable testers. Hey, if you do anything in the network uh, IT world, you know, these things are all over the place. If you're going on site, you got to hook up a switch. You got to maybe do a cable run. Who knows? Maybe you have to make a cable. You got to check for continuity along the network. Who knows? There's so many different things that can come up. You need a good, reliable tool. Well, today we're looking at one brand new from Finercy. This multifunctional cable test. Uh, even does POE wire tracing line alignment continuity wire sequence verification monitoring uh, even has a flashlight yeah check it out this particular model the LPM 10 has a 2.4 inch color screen color screen awesome uh, backlight as well which is adjustable and this is thank goodness type C rechargeable yes built-in lithium 1500 milliamp hours Gotta love it. No more fumbling around with batteries. And standard accessories, RJ45 connector, Type-C charger, uh, user manual, storage bag, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. So let's take a look at what we're getting here. In a nutshell, two testers, one for cable testing, one for NCV. There you go. And in the bag as well, we have a RJ11 tester and a, another sort of RJ, no, that's an RJ45 line in feed we have what is this looks like an rj11 connector and headphones so if you want to have that audio because on the unit as well we have an audio there it is right there so we can actually hear uh you know the beeps the whistles what have you without disturbing people around us and it's rechargeable giving us one of these tiny little usb-c cables how many usb-c cables do you have in your stockpile i mean really too many um and a nice storage bag it's not branded doesn't have that furnace logo but hey it's a storage bag and uh, pretty good all in all sweet little deal Network cables come in all shapes and sizes, long, short, uh, you name it. And if you've ever seen a server room, wow, sometimes it's a real rat's nest. Let's take a closer look at that NCV unit. This is sort of like a built-in uh, tester, strictly does NCV, really simple to operate. Turn it on and we have a sensitivity mode here. So the higher you go, the more the sensitivity. So sometimes you wanna have, you know, pretty high sensitivity because you're looking for something that's hard to find. Other times you don't need that high because you have just too much going on around. So you wanna lower the sensitivity. Anyway, uh, click on the NCV like so. And I think I turned it off. There we are. And here we go. So we're, we're, I'm gonna put this on and we'll just take a little walkie over to the electrical panel here. By the way, it's got a flashlight as well. Nice and bright. Hey, it's an NCV tester, right? I mean, you know, not a heck of a lot to it. Let's take a peeky, see how it does. Testing out the flashlight at the same time. Yeah, no worries here. Fast, efficient, sufficient NCV. Lots of light, does the job. Hey, it's an NCV tester, what can I say? Seems to work pretty good. Now checking out a typical uh, standard outlet at home. Yeah, same thing. Has good sensitivity. It's on high right now. You can adjust it to low, but once again, works well. Turning the unit on. Get that Finercy logo. About a second or so, and we are in. Look at that nice screen. Gorgeous color screen. I'm telling you, when it comes to testers of any sort, gotta love color. Lots of functionality here. PoE testing port testing the settings menu let's check out the settings first uh, not a lot going on here we can change the language um in english obviously right now and uh, we have the light setting you can change the backlight display the volume auto off power off and our about version version 0013 very nice and this has firmware updates so you can actually update or reset it to factory defaults all of it 
Love it. All right. Um, cable test mode. Hey, that's a basic mode, something you're probably going to use a lot. You want to test the quality of those cables. Well, here you can test it via a switch directly, or you can just press the button here like I'm doing now. We don't have a cable hooked up, but you can see that's how simple it is. A couple of clicks and away you go. Um, what can we try here? Let's try the uh, the test, the quality test. This is kind of neat. So here we are with the different pinouts. Now you can see we have those red X's on the right hand side. That's because we don't have a cable hooked in. So we plug that into the QC port on the side of the tester, just like so. And look at that. Lo and behold, because we have this properly set up, that we have all green here. So all of those wires are properly crimped. Now, if you just crimped a cable from scratch, great way to test it. Make sure that you have the proper pinouts. You know, you always mess up every now and then. You don't want to stick it into a switch or network and find out that you did it wrong. But very handy. You're going to use that feature a lot. Let's check out the length feature. So here we have a three meter, 10 foot cable, standard CAT6 RJ45. So we hook one end into the scan at the very top of the Finercy. And the other end, we're gonna hook into, here you see it says length, right on the side. Now, simply with a mouse, a well, mouse, the, <laughs> the click of your finger. Ooh, a little bit of glare going on, sorry about that. There we are. So here we're gonna have that length button. Press down on the select switch on the Finercy and it's gonna automatically tell us how long that cable is. Now this is really cool, especially if you don't have cables fresh out of the bag, you wanna say, how long is this cable? Well, I'm gonna switch it to meters. Should come up to what, three meters according to the bag? It's testing, and there you go, three meter cable. Now it's just the first line is, is all you really need. So three meters it is. Man, if you have 100 cables to sort, this will save you a ton of time. Very cool. Another feature with this meter is that PoE testing. Look at that. You can have with the audio or no audio. And it's looking for that PoE power over ethernet. Now we've got it hooked up to a switch. Actually, it's not a switch per se. This is a WatchGuard XTM, uh, the 5 Series, basically a firewall VPN appliance, a very cool piece of hardware, a little legacy now, but it still works. Look at that. So we have this really cool feature that will just tell us which port we are connected to, if that is actually a good port as well. Simply hook it up to your switch, firewall, whatever network appliance it is, and way to accurately locate the line or port. Hey, it's always not gonna be so simple. You're gonna have hundreds of cables. So this way, when you see that port flashing on that switch or network appliance, you know you've got it plugged into the right location. Very cool, ultra handy. And this thing works really, really fast. I'm telling you, what a great tool to have on you. Okay, here we are taking a quick look at the inside. Gorgeous black PCB, has that nice finercy quality, doesn't it? Clean, clean electronic testing machine, I gotta say. Lots of nice components on board, lots of RJ45s. There's our rechargeable 3000 milliamp hour battery, 3.7 volts, easy to replace if it ever goes south. Main CPU is etched, unfortunately. That JXD, uh, component i could not find a data sheet on it anybody knows what that is do let me know um we've got some lm35 voltage references on board we have an hc40 s1 i think that was multiplexer there's our connector cable for the lithium battery and uh, some more connector cables for other parts of the pcb all in all just a really really good quality once again that main ic was etched Another component as well I see in there is that Motorcom, that YT8521SC. That is a uh, uh, an IC that goes up to one gigabit, uh, basically an Ethernet transceiver. Uses DSP technology and has ultra high speed transmission over UTP cables. I think it goes a distance of up to, if I'm not mistaken, about 400 meters. Anyway, great stuff. Great components in this 
little network cabling tester slash analyzer. All in all, gorgeous attention to detail as always for an RC. Puts a smile on my face. Put it back together, come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Fernarcy LPM10 Network Cable Tester Kit. Oh yeah, you know, this one's a keeper. Man, oh man, this thing is built well. It is a solid piece of network engineering. And I didn't point out that it's even got these soft rubber grips on the side, so you're never gonna drop this baby in that server room or, or wherever you might be. Hey, for quick measurements, for cable wire tracing, for port flashing testing, length testing, PoE testing, network cable speeds, NCV, crimping testing. Yes, you can crimp RJ45s and put it on here, see if you did it properly. I mean, this thing does it all. I just touched the surface. So you need a network tool, you need a network uh, cabling tester analyzer, this is your one. LPM10 from Fenersi, I can't say enough. The LPM10 from Fenersi gets a solid four out of five stars. Hey, there should be some coupons in the description below. This retails for around $60 US, about 80 or so Canadian. And uh, you know what? It's money well spent. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. And thanks again, Banggood. Oh, Banggood, you're so good to me. Banggood and good to me. I like it. I like it a lot. Till the next one. Keep on testing.